Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. It's Lee Henson, President and Founder of Agile Day, and it's time for today's episode of the Daily Stand-Up. Without any further ado, let's get started. It's Friday, and it's a beautiful day. I hope you had an amazing week. I know I did. And it's time for us to share our agile, not so agile, uplifting, motivational uh, episode of the week. So this one is one that I thought was really cool. So, of course, I'm going to start with a story to kick it off. Uh, The story goes like this. In my career, I have seen so many teams struggle with adversity, whether it's leadership that hasn't bought into what they were doing or whether it's people who feel like they haven't made a personal connection with other people, whether it's team members or other folks, even people within their own family struggle with different adversities and different challenges that face them. And this is a story about a very wise chef. So let's get in. So once a long time ago, there was a chef who had a daughter. And a daughter complained to her father that everything in her life was miserable. That she didn't know how she was going to make it through life. She was tired of fighting with people and struggling all the time and constantly facing issues at school. And all these things were happening in her life. And she just thought that she had the worst life ever. Her father decided it was time to teach her a very valuable lesson. So he says, you know, he says, I'm so sorry you feel that way, sweetie. He says, come with me into the kitchen. And being a chef, he had a very nice kitchen, you can imagine. And when he got to the kitchen, he took out three pots and he filled each pot with water. And uh, the daughter was curious, but watched. And in one pot, he placed potatoes. Mm -hmm. Just brown, firm Idaho potatoes. In one pot he placed, he gently placed eggs in and he placed them in very gently. And in the third pot, he took time to grind some of the best coffee beans that he had. And he placed the grounds inside of the third pot with water. He then sat down with his daughter to discuss all the problems she was facing. Whether it was bad grades or problems at school or for you, maybe it's problems at work or problems with family, whatever the problems might be. And over time, the water came to a nice boil, and it continued to boil for some time. After the water had boiled for a while, and time had passed, and the daughter's curiosity grew, the daughter began to moan impatiently, waiting to see what he was going to do, or what he was trying to say, or how it was going to help. And after 20 whole minutes, he turned off the water, he turned off the burners, And he started by taking the potatoes out and he placed them in a small bowl and put them on a table. Next, he took out the eggs and placed them in a bowl and put them on a table. Finally, he filtered the coffee through a coffee filter, poured each of them a cup of coffee and sat down at the table. As he sat close to his young daughter, he looked at her and he says, sweetie, tell me, what do you see? She says, well, I see potatoes, eggs and coffee. He smiled and he laughed. He says, that's true. He says, but look closer. And she looked closer and she's like, okay. He says, touch the potatoes. So when she went to touch the potatoes, she noticed very quickly that the potatoes weren't hard anymore. They were really soft. And he explained to her that the potato, when they first put it on, went in really strong and hard and unrelenting. But in the boiling water, it became soft and weak and would be very fragile. Next, he went to the egg, and he says, crack the egg. She cracked the egg and noticed that it was easy to crack, but hard on the outside, that she couldn't squeeze and crack it. And he said the egg was very fragile at first, with a very thin outer shell protecting a liquid inside, until it was put in the boiling water, and the inside became hard. Okay. The ground coffee beans were incredibly unique in the third pot. He said, after they were exposed to the boiling water, the water itself completely changed. It didn't remain water at all. Exposing the beans to the water created something completely new. He then turned and looked at his daughter and asked, which one are you? University knocked on your door. How do you reply? Are you a potato who just bends and folds to the adversity and becomes soft and weak? Are you an egg? That becomes a hard shell to crack and, you know, firm in your convictions. Are you a coffee bean? 
someone who, even though you've been through life in a grinder, you go to make a difference. The truth is life happens all around us every day. Things happen to each one of us. But the only thing that truly happens is the change that happens within us. And I think that it's time for us to decide which one of those three we are when we're faced with adversity. We hear a lot of people talk about their finer fire and how that fire is there to change us and mold us into being something special. And I think that this is an opportunity for us to have an introspective and to decide what our impact is and how we can engage and interact with our peers, with our families, with educators, with, uh, with people at work. There's just so many opportunities for us each day to facilitate communication and conversation. But the truth is we all face adversity. We all face different challenges. We're all on a different path. But the question is, it's not about us facing adversity because, well, that happens to all of us. The question is, how do we respond? How do we react to that adversity? And my hope is that each one of us can take time to be in a position where we need to be. Sometimes we do need to be the potato and be empathetic to others' needs and become soft and willing to mourn with them and sit with them and talk with them and, and be there for them. Other times it's important to be the egg where we stand up for what we believe in and we stand up for what's right. And then sometimes it's important for us to be the coffee bean. I would argue more times than not, it's, 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 it's important for us to be the coffee bean because that's when we can really enact change and make a difference. And we can change other people around us. And we can change our circumstances, but we need to be the catalyst for change. I hope this was inspirational, uplifting. I hope that it brought you to a new place of heart, but I hope it warmed your heart. Uh, as always, we encourage you, if you want to learn more about Agile, if you want to learn more about life in general, Agile Dad's a great place to start. Go and join us at AgileDad.com. Tell your friends about this podcast. We're trying real hard to get uh, a new milestone here that I'll share with you in an upcoming podcast, but we're trying to get a few more subscribers so we can hit a milestone. So if you can tell your friends and neighbors about the podcast, it'd be greatly appreciated. And if you have a topic you want to discuss, we'd love to hear about it at learnmore@agiledad.com. As always, we encourage you to stay healthy, stay well, and stay agile, my friends. No matter what you do, have a great weekend. Serve somebody else and always smile. Do take care until next time.